This is a video to show you how to install GNOME 3 and Cinnamon on PCBSD 9.1 Isotope. As you'll see here, I've installed all of the meta packages and window managers, uh, drivers, just everything. Uh, the script will remove GNOME, it will remove XFCE for now, and LXE as those aren't um, compatible. Uh, having those installed will prevent GNOME 3 from installing for packages. Hopefully in the future that can be fixed, but for the time being, it, it, uh, those things must be removed, so you won't want to log into those if you have them on your system. You can also do an installation with uh, none of these window managers or meta packages, and just simply log, in, log into uh, Fluxbox would be your only manager if you just want a, a really clean installation. Uh, for right now, for this demonstration, we'll just use KDE. And after we log in here, if we had uh, if we were in Fluxbox, we could just go to App Cafe up here, install Firefox to get a browser to fetch the script, or uh, if you have another computer to work off of, you could look up the instructions that way. Uh, we could also use App Cafe to install a terminal if you don't have one. I'm just going to use uh, the built-in browser Conqueror from KDE. And built-in terminal console I'll set things up here so the first thing you'll just want to go to the package daemon website and click the install gnome 3 now link has all the latest instructions for isotope. We also have uh, some instructions for the testing release and some videos also for that. For this example I'm using 64 bits so I'm gonna follow the direction here directions here to grab the script for 64 bit. I'm just gonna cut and paste this a little quicker and log in as a root. Now you don't have to be root to fetch the script, but you definitely have to be to run the script. So after downloading the script, you run this command here to execute it. I gives you this little disclaimer that by installing this software you are in agreement that I am not in any way responsible for what may happen to your computer. Please do not run the script unless you've made a backup and know what you're doing. I'm not affiliated with PCBSD or FreeBSD. Please do not contact them for support if you run the script. Uh, that should make sense, I think. Um, then we've got uh, GNOME 3 installer for PCBSD Isotope Edition. Phase 1 here is just going to download approximately 581 megabyte of packages from Package Demon. Press Enter or you can press Control C to abort. So if you change your mind, you can press Control C safely uh, no harm done. Um, you can do that until the removal of packages but once that begins uh, you won't want to cancel at that point so you'll have the opportunity here a couple times and um, after the download to cancel if you like um, but step one is just gonna download the packages first and um, that and it will begin downloading. I was just fetching using wget so if there's any kind of a network failure, um, it should resume the packages. It will try at least up to 10 times. Uh, if you cancel the script because of a network error, you can come back and rerun it, and it will you know, refetch those packages for you. Uh, once it's complete here, we'll continue the video. After the download completes, you'll see downloaded 499 files, 578 meg, um, so on. It'll show finished here. Uh, total time it took, etc. And it will say if the download did not complete for some reason, press Control C now to abort. So this is your really your last chance to press Control C before the removal of packages. Uh, but I'm going to just continue here. Just going to let you know that Phase Two will remove again LXDE, XFCE, and GNOME 2 if installed. GDM will also be removed and will be replaced by GDM 3. Press Enter Control C. And you'll see here that we're 
removing the packages first using the meta package manager makes things a little cleaner I think. The second phase will actually go much quicker here. It's just a package delete. It's just going to basically delete uh, GDM and a bunch of the stuff that's part of PCBSD base. Now we're on to phase three here. It's installing packages. Here we go. Okay, so basically for phase three, we can type one and press enter to install GNOME or type 2 and press enter to install GNOME plus cinnamon. In the future there may be more options here but for the time being I'm just going to do option 1 here. It's just going to continue and install the GNOME 3 packages and give you all the messages and stuff. There may be some warnings here. Uh, these will get fixed in newer releases so these are really nothing to worry about. There are some other things that come up here. Some different package warning errors errors that we can ignore. Uh, for example, I've kept a couple of packages like live DRM and live GLUN as they were necessary for Intel KMS, the, the driver support for the new Intel cards, but that will be fixed in a newer release um, as I've been able now to build GNOME 3 with some modifications with with the uh, new XORG support which will uh, upgrade those packages so they uh, no longer have to be retained. And here's some additional warnings that can be ignored. Uh, this KM player desktop. Okay, so that is the end of the installation. Uh, a few last minute things. Congratulations, GNOME 3 has been successfully installed on your system. Um, then at the end here, installation complete. Please type reboot or shut down dash R now. Um, either will work. I like to shut down dash R now. If you're not so comfortable, uh, VirtualBox is a great way to get started just to give it a try. And you basically, uh, the first time around, you'll have to select GNOME. GNOME Shell does work in VirtualBox in Fedora. It does not work in VirtualBox on FreeBSD. I believe due to a driver issue, I have to look more into that. And there you have it.